like it just drops down. No, I was not ready for that. Welcome back to my day two of Pentatonix Focus Week. Today I will be looking at Say Something by, of course, Pentatonix. <laughs> if this is your first time over on my channel, occasionally I like to do a focus on a artist week. And by week, I mean four days because we don't want to overwork ourselves. But you have clicked on day two of my little week. And as always, this is a reaction and an analysis video. So we'll be stopping and talking about the vocals. I think I forgot to introduce myself in yesterday's video. Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer Glatzo. For you can call me Jen. And yes, I am focusing on Pentatonix this week. Let me know in the comments below if you've been to see Pentatonix live and just rave about them, how amazing they are, because they truly are amazing. And please do hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying what I'm doing over here on my channel. Do go over and check me out on Patreon as well if you would like to watch more. Right, let's get to Say Something by Pentatonix. Say something, I'm giving up on you I'll be the one if you want me to Gosh, these long lines by Avi on the bass here. Wow, these are like... It's just so continuous they just keep going on and on forever wow uh insane and also i was unaware that i chose so what i tend to do <laughs> is i choose the first two uh pentatonics or whatever artist i'm focusing on i choose the first two then over on pentatonic uh, pentatonics <laughs> then over on patreon um i put up a little poll and the next two uh videos with the most votes are my Wednesday and Thursday upload. I didn't realise I picked two where Kevin's playing the uh, cello. So <laughs> that's fun. I, I was completely shocked by that. But yeah, I love the emptiness, the stillness of it, obviously really complimenting the vocals of it just being really stripped back and hearing Kirsten on those lead lines. Wow. Something I'm giving up on you. And just that staccato yeah the staccato plucking from uh kevin and then those legato lines from avi and then we get these beautiful beautiful ooh blends as well nice that smooth onset i'll be the one if you want me to and that little vocal fry there from kirsten Gosh, it's like complete contrast. So we have the bass with Avi, like I said, legato, the uh, cello plucking, really staccato rhythms from Kevin. Then we've got beautiful, um, smooth, connected, light ooze from Mitch and Scott there in the back, really uh, contrasting Kirsten's lead, which has a little bit of that vocal fry and lots of breath through the lines. You can really just sense that uh, flowing breath. So I love that the two, they're contrasting uh the two pairs, really nice. Anywhere I would have followed you. I would. And that breath outwards as well. Say something, I'm giving up for you. Oh. I'm feeling so small. Yeah, I mean, now we've just like changed up. So up to that point, it was very much like that. Now we're hearing more legato lines from everyone else. We hear, um, peop uh, you know, we've got, uh, was it? it was both Scott and Mitch, I think, joined in with the lyrics there with Kirsten. And now we just have Scott there. Really, really, oh, I just love the stillness of it. So small. Oh, 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 oh. oh is, uh, is it Mitch there matching with Kevin on the cello? Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh. Yeah. So 
Okay, yeah, we've got Kevin now beatboxing, providing that percussion, percussive sounds there, all while still playing the cello. And I love how... So Kirsten's obviously on the lead here. We She's staying there. Then we, we're we swapping, we're alternating between Mitch and Scott in the with the harmony line. But then wh- whoever's providing the harmony line for the lead vocal, the other person is then providing a harmony line with the cello. I love how they've really done this section in pairs someone's always working with someone else apart from avi it seems like (laughs) now he's just kind of beautifully providing these lower bass notes but otherwise it's very i mean the song is a duet right it's it's done uh with two voices so i love how they've kind of kept that theme not only with the lead vocal and a harmony but also the instrument and a harmony and it's so that's really and in in a way we've got obviously the we'll listen again but the bass with the beatboxing so that's another pair that they work listening to one another so cool I'm It can't go unnoticed that that lovely dark ascending line from Avi there just before we get to this section is so open and dark and it's just got this oh it's so beautiful. beautiful yeah we, we hear Kirsten on a really clear uh you know different to when she was at the beginning uh very breathy now we're hearing beautiful vocal fold closure from Kirsten and that lovely mm, I love an mm, placement somewhere it just sends that energy forward and kind of is a mini SOVT exercise which stands for semi semi-occluded vocal tract so we've got that closed so it's not fully open Sorry that I. I love how bright and pingy that is in contrast with all those dark vowels that we're hearing. Ah. Sorry that I couldn't get to you. Oh. I love <laughs> it, kind of just like he's like providing this beautiful bass and then ah, ah, like it just drops down. was not ready for that look up to the camera and singing oh my gosh that was beautiful that was how did he's literally like ah oh, oh, oh. now he's like and i he's like a soft and angelic the range on this group is insane i uh yeah there towards the end we had or uh, three mitch scott and kirsten on the lyrics there uh providing like a three-part harmony in with obviously the bass line and then um the cello that's providing those notes there as well. Kevin is just insane. They're all insane. But yeah, I love the head voice delicate option from Kirsten at the end on the U vowel. And it's held, 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 which again, they're holding on to it even longer because they're going to go into this next section of just emptiness. And on comes Avi. I'm giving up on you. What was it? There's like a low. Say something. Listen to that, like that broken arpeggio from um, Kevin on the cello. And then we get beautiful legato ooh phrases from the three in the middle, Mitch as well, I think. Again, contrasting. And then we've got beautiful breathy phrases from Avi. And I... <sighs> Ooh. Just that exit of <sighs> as well, emphasised with everyone else. And I swallow my that I love and I'm 
such a heartbreaking song um ah i love the colors that we're hearing as well um as we are ascending getting a little bit higher with avi's line here he's including such a lovely moan to his voice we're in an upper part of his register than we were before (laughs) right down provided these beautiful thick notes at the bottom of uh, the bass but here we're just really lovely moaning and we can hear that cry which just allows the resistance through the vocal folds to keep connected like it's a strong increase in the resistance level so we're maintaining that strong vowel i love the layering the stacking of the say something so pretty and i'm saying goodbye I love how that that was uh, different stacking, different vocal stack in there as well. Really cool. Say something. I'm giving up on you. I'll be the one if you want me to. Okay. This is an interesting section, which I'm really intrigued to hear. So we're going to go to the beginning of Scott's entrance because nice. I love how it's just like, uh, they really just strip everything back. It's so full. We had that exciting entrance from Abby just then, but now we're going to a different section and it's like completely just empty. One voice. Then we hear another one and the phrasing's all the same. The breathing's all the same. Let's go. Say something I'm giving up you I'll be the one if you want me to say something I'm giving up on you I'll be the one if you want me nice okay cool uh i wanted to listen to that hopefully it's gonna be fine (laughs) with the copyright and everything um oh i love how minimalistic that was how simple it was just seeing visually seeing the stacking of that as well just really stripped back everything then we get the cello entrance and the percussive element to everything as well um Interestingly, like it, even though they're following the same phrasing, they didn't have the same lines like within like the intervals that they were having in between their phrasing. Like they didn't follow the exact same pattern. Um, if we were to see them all on uh, sheet music, yes, the rests and everything will be the same. But actually, the notes that they were including within those phrases um, had different patterns, which was really cool. Ah, so pretty. Are you, I'll be the one. If you want me to say, that crescendo. say something, I'm giving up for you. Oh, 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 I'll be the one if you want me to. I mean, just listen to how much wine Kirsten's also including into her vocals there. I'll be the one. She's got a, an ah. Uh, which is a glottal onset but she's actually smoothly approaching that she's allowing things to kind of happen together rather than a harsh ah especially because it's like it's not like i'm talking down here i don't talk up here so we're in an area where the vocal folds have to just do a little something different to maintain uh the thickness that she wants because it's not in a place that the vocal folds would naturally lie when we're just talking right but she still wants to maintain a chest connection up there so she's beautifully blending she's increasing the resistance within her vocal folds similar to how we heard uh avi with that little line that section there increasing that wine element Go 
gorgeous vocals there from Kirsten there as well with that lovely run as well. So well, like in order for us to belt, we need to make sure that we are efficiently using our breath control and we need to make sure that our vocal folds, like we've got really good vocal fold closure. If we were trying to get this really loud sound and belt with tons of breath coming through our vocal folds, ah! <laughs> you know I'll be the one like <laughs> it'll be just breath we need to make sure that the vocal folds are connecting um a good way to work on this is to just increase our chest connection we don't want to reach up there depending on it but just practice extending that chest like feel I just gonna be well too loud but you know hey hey imagine calling out to someone hey because when we talk we should have you know we talk we don't unless you do talk with uh, a little bit of breath naturally through our vocal folds, then <laughs> we either want to work on getting a full vocal fold closure or that's just how your vocal folds lie. It's just something that we need to understand about our vocals. Every vocal fold, every person is different when we sing. But yeah, practice uh, throwing out, like calling out to the someone across the across your room. Hey, hey, that's how we're going to engage those muscles that we want for a chest connection up there. Uh, cool, beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I just love how I know I cut there and I didn't let that ring on. We'll 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 play, we'll play, we'll play. Um but just, ah, there's sudden moments of dipping into this da, 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 that she shoots up here. She needs to make sure that she's engaged. Obviously this is recorded, they're singing over the top of it, but you know, it, it, in order for it to look like they are singing there, they've got to be singing there as well. And she sat down. There's no strain here at all. Ah, she's really just dropping that jaw spreading ever so slightly to maintain a chest connection i was actually watching a video recently that was talking and it kind of you know if we keep spreading like this the larynx wants to go yeah i'll come up with you and what happens is we end up getting this really tight squeezed sound we want to make sure the larynx is relaxed free going where it wants to go but not causing any strain so if we want to get a full connection up there just narrowing that uh the mouth will help because it just sends messages to the larynx to say, okay, cool, I don't need to shoot up there to help you. Once that feels comfortable and actually we want to then get a bit more of a spread back in, we absolutely can. It's not saying that everything has to be like, ah, <laughs> like narrow, right? We then can play around with the vocal and getting that color back in so it doesn't all sound dark. Ah, but we've got that, the larynx is then like, cool, I know where I need to be in order for, to not be too pinched and squeezed. But I love how she just knows where to go when she shoots up there in this lovely uh, chest dominant mix here. So look on that. Follow you. She's kind of keeping them all. I follow you. She's keeping them all on this narrow because that feels good. And that's, uh, you know, she is singing with other people here and she's descending. So she wants to maintain that um, uh, control over where she's placing her voice. Kevin was definitely like the, uh, they're like, right, how do we end this piece? How, what's one last thing that we can do just to make people be like, yeah, this is so good. Go on, Kevin, give us the last line. Because <laughs> so far, that's kind of what's happened. I know Scott had the ending of the one that we watched yesterday, which was Kiss from a Rose. But, you know, he did come with the baby section. I can't remember what it is. Um, but yeah, I love, uh, it matches so beautifully his voice with, I love the um, staccato, with the beatboxing and the cello at the same time and then yeah beautiful soft ooze to end with Say something. Say something. 
and that call and response. Oh, I cry. Beautiful. Wow. Well, it's nice seeing something with Avi in again. Um, I can't... Oh, well, you'll have to find out what I'm looking at tomorrow to see who's in that one. <laughs> I love doing these weeks because we get to see... Um, or I get to see uh, in this... For this example, pentatonics in different lights like quite quickly and I get to re remember what I just watched then, remember what I watch now and what I'm going to watch obviously tomorrow. I'm doing this all on the same day. <laughs> but uh, it's really nice because it's just really clear and uh, fresh in my mind and I love it. But thank you very much for watching my day two of pentatonics. Be sure to join me for day three and day four tomorrow and the day after. Obviously you can watch this whenever you want. If you want to get involved next time with my artist week and vote for your favourite video then do make sure that you are joining me over on Patreon as that is where the poll vote, I was going to say vol, <laughs> uh, the poll voting thing system is on. Right, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.